So I tried to pay attention to my form, but then one time I caught myself with bad form here. I was doing the exercise and poop. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. We're back at the Korean place <laughs> from two vlogs ago. You guys saw that? We had to come back because we wanted to take Ed, Mark, and Nika here. Gus, I'm cutting. You're what? I'm cutting. You're cutting? Yeah. All good. See? I'm cutting. Oh. <laughs> he was saying cutting as in like, you know what bodybuilders do? They cut their calories. But no, he meant cutting the, the pork. <laughs> but this is healthy food. I mean, look, look at the veggies. And guys, look, RJ and I ordered new stuff. This here is raw beef. It's like the Korean version of steak tartare. It's literally just raw beef. And you eat it like this. They crack a egg, raw egg on it, and you just mix it with all these little vegetables, and then you eat it. How is it, cuz? Do you guys like it? Yeah. yeah. So we just have to mix everything. The eggs all mixed in there. Mmm. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? RJ just ordered a bibimbap. We told ourselves we'd order a bibimbap the next time we come in. It's basically a Korean bowl with rice, meat, vegetables, and egg. Then you just mix everything in. No. Mm. That bibimbap looks awesome. Yeah. Guys, look. I'm back at the gym. Oh my gosh, let me tell you. It's been forever since I've been here. It feels like it anyway. I, as some of you may know, I injured my back two Sundays ago and um, so I haven't been able to go to the gym. I've been slowly recovering and doing like, you know, simple exercises using dumbbells and stretches and all that. Uh, but today, I'm going to try to go to the gym. So apparently, after a back injury, you kind of have to like ease into it. Like, I can't be lifting what I used to lift for sure. Maybe 30% less. And it's more to get my whole body and back used to the movements and being under, you know, the same sort of stress, right? <laughs> but um, a bodybuilder friend sent me a deload workout um, that I can do that incorporates exercises that don't use my lower back um, but will help my back recover and rehab so I'm gonna try that today I'm gonna lift super light hope everything's okay so the pain like the sharp pain is gone I remember the first like four or five days the pain was a 10 or a 9 today it's like a 1 um, and it's more of like a a stiffness it's not really a pain so uh, yeah I guess I just gotta slowly rehab my body back to the conditioning that it used to be uh, but guys I so miss the gym this is my temple you know what I'm saying ah I love this place so I've had a lot of time to think about why I got injured <laughs> Um, and there are several reasons that I suspect that I got injured. Of course, bad form. That <laughs> definitely contributed to it. I do recall like two days before, or actually a week before, that my back started to hurt doing certain back exercises. I'm like, oh, you know, I just attributed it to um, my back needs to be more strong. So I tried to pay attention to my form, but then one time I caught myself with bad form here. I was doing the exercise and boop, I felt like a little shift somewhere in my back. It could have been a muscle. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a spine thing, but there was a little like, sort of like, you know when you go to a chiropractor and they like crack your back? It felt kind of like that. Um, but I was okay. There was no pain that day or the next. Um, but I noticed I, w I had bad form um, and two days later that's when my back decided to have a spasm and on that day I didn't even work out my back so it was kind of like a delayed re reaction also the day before I got my back spasm muscle spasm uh, I was very stressed so the doctor told me that stress can also lead 
to um, muscle spasms. I was like, guys, like level nine, borderline 10 stressed for like two or three days. Um, and you know, in the peak of that stress, that it was that day that I had the back injury. So guys, manage your stress, guys, because honestly, it le your body chemistry apparently changes on days you're stressed. Like your body releases certain hormones that, you know, cause physiological changes in your body. Um, so now, if ever I have those episodes, don't have those episodes often, by the way. Usually once a year, something will happen and oh, I'll be so stressed. Uh, but on those highly stressful like circumstances or points where your stress level is nine or 10, I've decided I won't work out that day. <laughs> because like, I think my body is like, no, you're stressed, it's time to shut down. Um, another thing too is that morning that my back spasmed, I don't think I drank enough water. I had just woken up, drank my coffee, and then Ed, Mark, and I went to the gym. Uh, another thing too is, because it was a stressful time, me and Edmark were talking throughout the whole workout. So, you know, I'm here doing exercises. I remember it was a Sunday and I was working out my chest and my brain was not present during the exercises, even though I was lifting pretty heavy, which is not good because when you work out, you should really be focused. Like your mind should be focused on the movement, on the exercise, you know, because if you were doing what I was doing that morning that I had the back spasm, I was like going this blah, 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 lifting heavy, but not present. So that's another reason I believe my back spasm happened. Um, you need to be present. So now it showed me that as I do the exercises, I am focusing on the muscles that are being targeted, on my positioning, on my breathing. I'm not talking. I'm really just at like 99% focused on the exercise and the movement. So that was a good lesson to me, for me. So yeah, it was a whole bunch of things, guys, that I believe led to my back spasm. Also, probably lifting too heavy that contributed to it too. I'm always trying to push the weight. Um, but, you know, as a rule, if it's affecting your form, you shouldn't, you shouldn't increase the weight. Um, but now I know. Oh, also that morning, I tried a new pre-workout supplement um, called C4, which I haven't taken in many, many years. Um, and for some reason, I decided to take it that morning. So maybe like the strong chemicals in that pre-workout led to it. I don't know, guys. But anyways, as you can see, I've been thinking about this back injury um, and trying to learn from any mistakes I might have done in the past. Um, based on YouTube videos from pro athletes, from bodybuilders, from fitness uh, influencers, they say that injuries are really part of the fitness journey. Um, in fact, a lot, like one of them said, you will get injured. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and I've had many injuries in the past working out shoulder, this lower back injury I've had maybe twice before, random injuries like arm injuries, uh, but yeah, it definitely is part of it, but this one has taken like two weeks to recover from, so I'm really trying to take this seriously. It's not going to stop me from going to the gym, but um, I know now not to push it and to really just progress naturally um, and, you know, value my back more. You know, the first four days of not being able to use my back, it made me appreciate all the random things in life where we need our back. From like sitting on the toilet, to getting out of bed, to putting on socks, <laughs> putting on pants, you know, like the smallest things. Soaping yourself in the shower, like random, random things. Sitting in a car for like 20 minutes, I couldn't even do. It really, really opened my eyes and reminded me, it was a wake up call, like listen, value your back because you will need it for everyday life. And so yeah, I know my mom's watching. My mom's like, Michael, you're always pushing yourself. I see the exercises you do, it's too heavy, why you do that? <laughs> Mommy, don't worry, I've learned. 
Guys, check out RJ's chicken leg stew. That he does this isn't even this is just off the top of his head. This isn't like a Filipino food. This is just RJ's invention. Mmm. It looks delicious. I see mushrooms, carrot, potato. It kind of looks like a menudo, just without peas and other menudo type ingredients. I should have a bigger pot. Mmm, it smells so good. Guys, RJ is such a good cook. He's such a good cook. All right, guys, we have some positive affirmations to do. Let's see our positive affirmation for Friday, February the 11th. I love and accept myself, and I am a magnet for wonderful friendships. There you go, guys. There's a positive affirmation for Friday and yesterday. Water is my favorite beverage. It replenishes and refreshes me and just makes me feel good. Ooh, I love that. Drink lots of water, guys. That's a great positive affirmation. And finally, positive affirmation for Sunday, February the 13th. Long-lasting, loving relationships brighten my life. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. Guys, look at how healthy the people of this household have been eating. You got arugula, quinoa, some sausage, and salmon. See that? Awesome. Well guys, it does seem like health is the resounding theme of today's vlog. Um, I wish all of you out there the best of health, body health, mental health, right? Spiritual health, any kind of health. Um, you know, so that we could truly enjoy the abundance of the universe and of life. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's vlog. And Mabu High Squad, if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. Come join our Mabu High Squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Mm -hmm. Guys, I will see you in the next vlog. Bye. Mm.